Here we have the honed extended ball joints, support sleeve, external circlip, OEM castle nut, and split pin. Start by removing the original ball joint. To do this, pop the rubber boot off. You can do that using a screwdriver. And then you want to find yourself a piece of tube or a deep socket that lines up with the uh, original ball joint body. And then you can you want to be hitting on that directly uh, and you can knock it out. You could also use a press to, to press it out, um, the opposite of the way that you press it in. But we find just using a hammer and a piece of tube works. It's pretty easy. Now you want to get your um, honed extended ball joint and prepare it to be installed. First thing you need to do is remove the rubber boot that comes on it. And you can do that using some uh, needle nose pliers. Uh, you want to remove the wire retaining clip. And um, it is a little bit tricky to remove, but you just sort of work around and, and uh, leverage it off. And then just um, pull the boot off. And you can see there, just pop the boot off. Before we move over to the press, I just wanted to do a dry run through of the install. So first you press the ball joint into the knuckle, then you tap the sleeve, uh, the support sleeve over the ball joint, and finally fit the external circlip to retain the sleeve. Now we move over to the shop press. Uh, we have it set up here with a couple of blocks to support the knuckle and again another tube of the correct diameter to push down on the top of the knuckle forcing the ball joint inside it. Um, start off slow, make sure you get it aligned, make sure you get it square um, and then um, obviously once you've got it started you can um, continue to press it down. Um, once, you've, once, you've, once you pull it out of the press, make sure to check that the ball joint is fully seated all the way around. Uh, it's completely home. Uh, make sure the ball joint is clean and then um, now you can start to install your support sleeve. So grab your support sleeve, um, start off by fitting it by hand and trying to get it, um, trying to get it on. And what you want to do is get yourself a piece of tube with a 41 millimeter inner diameter. And what we've done is put a bit of electrical tape around the edge of it to protect the supports, the finish on the support sleeve. Uh, as you can see here, we've just put an electrical tape around it. And then we're going to use this to just lightly tap the support sleeve into place. So the support sleeve is just a, a, a very light uh, interference fit. and you just tap around, uh, ensuring that it goes on square. Once the support sleeve is completely home, now we can move on to installing the external circlip. You do that with a set of external circlip pliers and put it into position. Once the circlip's on, then you can refit the rubber boot. And that's, again, just repeating the same procedure that you used to remove it, just put it on by hand and then refit the um, wire style retaining clip. And you can probably get this started by hand and then finish it off with a set of pliers because it is quite stiff. And you want to make sure that you get it uh, sitting down uh, on the bottom of the rubber boot. Once you've got it 
into position. Um, you can refit your castle nut until you get the knuckle over to the car. Um, and that, now you can see there the ball joint completely installed, including support ring.